Yeah, yeah. Landy's representing. All right, all right. Welcome, one and all, to the Chrissy Show. Yeah, Chrissy Show. Sit back, relax. All right. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Chrissy Show. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kristen. Yes, back with another vlog. I'm here today by myself. Well, not necessarily by myself, but I'm doing this vlog by myself. Khaleesi is upstairs sleeping. She's not feeling well. Um, so, yes. Welcome back to my channel. And guys, let me give you all a big shout out for, you know, supporting your girl. I see y'all. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you, guys. And thank you for the shares. Yes, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm still on my journey to a thousand subscribers. I'm just like at 150, but I'm still grateful because I just started this journey in May. And to see the support that I've received, I am truly grateful and I am truly blessed. And I know that one day I'm going to reach it. It not might be today, tomorrow, or next week, but I'm going to get there in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys. So today's vlog is basically going to be a little chit chat with me, your girl. So mostly about the pandemic and, you know, my experience and what it has been like. So this year has been really a bittersweet ups and down journey for all of us, all of us, regardless of uh, some people might have a better experience than some, but I must say, for me, it's been a journey. It's been a journey. And guys, let me tell you something. Believe in God. Believe in God. Love others. Love others. I'm not just talking about loving yourself. I'm saying love others. And give a helping hand because let me tell you something sometimes we don't know where our blessing is coming from we don't and sometimes it's just it's you like damn did that just happen yep yes guys let me tell you this you know we have Khaleesi Khaleesi is she well she just turned three and it's just me Khaleesi and my husband Anyways, when this corona virus hit, I was like, damn, what's going to happen? Like, there wasn't nowhere to turn to. The daycare closed down. We still have to work because we're essential workers. And I'm like, I was so depressed at first because I'm like, what am I going to do with Khaleesi? How are we going to work this out? Anyways, we prayed about it. <laughs> And, you know, we had faith and like we knew God was going to work out something for us because it's always been like that when it comes on to, you know, our situations. So at first, when the daycare closed down, we didn't know where to turn or what to do. So I had to adjust my schedule to fit doing schedule so that i work in the morning and then when i leave work i come home and doing goes to work so there wasn't any family time like that because when i'm at home doing is at work and when doing is at home i'm at work and thank god we worked it out however it it, it was really a hard time in those period i think that was the end of march through to May hmm. or maybe sometimes in, sometime in June and I remember at my job I went to this lady and she's the scheduling officer or whatever coordinator and you know we were chit chatting she's from a foreign country as me and you know we were just having an art to art and then I rem she put me onto this daycare they were just opening back 
and she said her daughter um just got through there and they have like two more spots and i should call them and you know talk to them and when i called that morning i was praying so hard listen i wasn't even eating i was so depressed i was praying because i'm like ah, what am i gonna do where am i gonna turn to so i called the school and the school said yes we only have one more spot and i said okay guys it's expensive let me tell you about daycare here in america it's nothing like jamaica it's nothing like jamaica it's not like you know your home and you in jamaica you gotta go to work and you can say to your neighbor over there say um can you keep khaleesi for me and you know with your discretion you give them something no baby in america you gotta fuck out your money yup you gotta dig deep in your pockets anyways so we got through with the school it's a preschool um i think it's the same thing as daycare um the first question they asked me is khaleesi potty trained well khaleesi was potty trained for the most part because she would never do a number two in her diaper but occasionally she would pee and you know they accept her we had to pay a deposit hmm tell me about it we had to pay a deposit then no we had to pay a deposit plus the first week tuition and it's a weekly thing hmm you don't want to convert that to jamaica but anyways thank god so there was a there was a program going on to that same lady that i spoke to at my job there was a pro i don't want the, the video to go out so there was a program going um going out going on at the time and it was basically a coronavirus relief program for day for, for child care and you know it was the first week of june and the lady told me about it and we went to, i went ahead and i applied for it and i got the grant it's basically it started in april but it went on till june 30th so i only got three weeks out of it and you know i got it and they paid three weeks of tuition and yeah so there is a god because that already put us three weeks ahead i was still paying even though we were still getting the money from the the care program but it put us three weeks ahead and out of every situation i always try to take the good out of it so even though it was three weeks it saved us three weeks money and it came a very far away so that's that thank you jesus and you know khaleesi got situated then we started going back our schedule started going back to normal in mid-july or so and i'm still grateful because guys we had a job right through we wasn't hungry we had a roof over our head thank you jesus guys let me tell you something believe in god believe in god trust him trust him and guys if you haven't started praying yet you need to start praying for whatever you want i know that some people's situation is different from some i know that some people blessing come first come quicker than some guys do not compare yourself to others don't i remember days when i was in america i was comparing myself to others but look at me now look at me now guys it pays to trust and believe in god and if i can do it you can do it too trust and believe me anyways guys so my experience through the pandemic it wasn't it wasn't crazy and i work right through doing work right through uh we were never out of a job we were never out of food we were still living it's just that the place was shut down 
and it's just that you know for some people they get the time to spend with their family we never have that we never had that never because as i said i was basically when i'm coming through the door at 2 30 in the evening doing doing is going through so give thanks for whatever blessing you have some people and this this brings me back to what i just said some people blessing some some people blessing comes different because for the pandemic a lot of us um families we were just working we wasn't spending time with you know with our significant others whether it's a husband a baby father or you know a spouse but this pandemic really taught us that spending time with your family uh it's vital it's really vital because you know how much people lost their life in lives in this um pandemic you know how much people wish they had spent time quality time with their loved ones listen i've seen it all i have seen it all let me tell you something in my field in the nursing field that i am had let me tell you something people was just dropping dead like dead flies like it's like your life doesn't have any values it's like it cut the coronavirus it came to take and i've seen all oh, family members regret not spending time with their loved ones i've seen that and that i've i've learned something from that it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you gotta live you gotta love each other and you're gonna trust god you're gonna trust god and guys let me say something before i go any further you see in life not everybody's gonna like you not everybody's gonna be for you but having God by your side, all of that doesn't matter. Live, forgive, and move on. Live, forgive, and move on. And then you'll see how beautiful life's, life is. And, you know, life is good. But you just got to make it how you want it. You got to pray for it. You got to work hard for it. You know, you got to trust the process and trust and believe me, if I can do it, you can do it too. You see that smile on my face? It didn't just come like that. It was a process. And if anybody knows, or not anybody, but my friends and my family could, can tell you about my journey. It wasn't easy. There was a lot of downtime. There was a lot of tears. There was a lot of whys. Why did you do this? Why Why not me? You know? But I'm grateful for everybody who have been journeying with me. Who have been on my journey with me. I thank you for... It doesn't matter if it was even to give me a, a little heart to heart. And like, you know, tell me that everything is going to be alright soon. I am truly and really grateful. Really, really grateful guys you know i don't want to talk too much but thank you guys again for watching thank you for you know your support thank you so much don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend about us